What's up, YouTube? I was asked by a couple people um, with my uh, naturally aspirated to turbo conversion, how I was able to up the boost while also keeping the air fuel ratio kind of around that that 11 range, which is what kind of the sweet spot. I mean, anything below 11, a little bit too rich, in my opinion, anything in the 10s, maybe a little bit safer, but still a little bit too rich. And then anything in the like high 11s, 12s, et cetera, way too lean. Um, it's going to feel more powerful <laughs> in that high 11s, 12s range. But um, you're, you're just asking for trouble with that. That's, that's pretty lean. Um, and and you, you could blow something pretty quick. So um, this is kind of a walkthrough on that. Uh, so you need two things here. Well, three. Um, but you should already have one. Um, you can't really see it down here too well, but this is a rising rate. Um, oh, hold on. This is a rising rate uh, FPR. So what that does is it raises the fuel level by um, based off of boost pressure. So you can get different ratio um, uh, of these uh, RRFPRs, rising rate. Um, fuel pressure regulators. I th this right here is like a three to one, but it really doesn't matter with what we're doing here. You can get a, a 10 to one, 16 to one, two to one, doesn't matter. And I'll show you why in just a second. But the way that rising rate fuel pressure like regulator works is um, fuel comes into the motor and then the unused fuel is kind of pushed back to the tank. What that With that rising rate, what it's doing is that fuel that's going that's slotted to go back into the gas tank that's the fuel return it blocks that fuel so that fuel is then dispensed into the motor um, it has to go somewhere right so basically what happens is the higher the boost pressure the more that plate is blocking off that fuel line so while it's a very simple design what happens is if you buy the rising rate fuel pressure pressure regulator specifically for a specific PSI, let's say you buy a three to one and it works perfectly for seven PSI, you know, you have like an 11, um, around an 11 AFR, that's great. Once you go to raise the, the boost pressure, though, let's say you're not, you, you say, hey, seven isn't good enough, I want 10, which is exactly the scenario I was in. Um, when you raise it to 10, uh, the the boost pressure it it also raises the FPR and you would think it would be the depending on the correlation you have three to one five to one two to one um, you would think it would correlate and it does with boost pressure in terms of it would get richer as you go up and when you turn up boost in that sense when you go when I like when I went from seven and out seven psi and I was running uh, an eleven AFR. Um, when I went up to 10, it was like the AFR was in the nines. So, I mean, way too rich, like way, way too rich. Occasionally, I'd get into the tens, but it, it was really, really rich. So, unless I bought a new AFR, bought a new uh, plate, if you will, to go in there to adjust the ratio, I was really kind of screwed. Um, but I figured out uh, a way around that to basically work with any um, fuel pressure regulator. Uh, or any ratioed rising rate fuel pressure regulator. It cost me $6 in total. Um, so first you'll see, this is one that I made. This is a, a boost controller. It's pretty, I made this for like eight bucks. So that was, that was how I was able to turn the boost up. That makes you, you connect one side to the wastegate um, and the other side to um, the input of fuel. So or the input of, of boost. So basically if you just wanted, um, you had no boost gauge, nothing, you would just go from the turbo outlet here, plug this in the middle of it, and then go directly to the wastegate. And then you could turn it accordingly. You could turn it, obviously the, the, the tighter you make it, the more boost you have, the looser you make it, the less boost you have. You can never go down in boost for what the wastegate is. So if the wastegate, the lowest wastegate boost is seven PSI, no matter what boost control you have, you're not going to be able to go below 7 PSI. You can only go stay there or go above. So I turned that up to 10. Like I took some um, 
fine tuning. You go out, you try it, you tighten it. Tune it up to 10. Again, I was running nine AFRs. Didn't want to get a new um, rising rate fuel pressure rate, fuel pressure regulator or a new plate so they can get expensive. So instead, I bought this. Um, and this is the vacuum line or boost line that actually goes to the rising rate fuel pressure regulator. This is actually another boost controller. So we have two here, two. Um, this one is actually off of Amazon and cost me $4. I was a little bit um, skeptical at first for one that cost $4, but, um, and it, it did have some issues. I had to cut the spring inside just because it was a little bit too, uh, a little bit too tight. So I cut the spring inside, but the premise behind this is now you're limiting a uh, vacuum or boost going to the fuel pressure regulator. So instead of seeing 10 PSI, it's only, if you plug in this boost control to it, it's only seeing about like right now, like it's probably seeing around seven, the same as before. So it thinks that you're running seven PSI, really you're running 10 PSI because you're limiting that, that flow. Um, and then it, it rises the actual fuel rate. So I went from nine AFRs to perfect round. And right now I run between a 10.9 and an 11.5 to the red line. So it starts off at 10.9 and then goes to about 11.9. So for, for, for six dollars, if you already have a rising rate, you buy one boost controller. And again, I made this one for eight dollars, but you can just buy one that's exactly the same as this one um, for three bucks. So that's six dollars. Um, and if you know how to hook these up, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I can run over the exact lines that I have with the boost gauge, but this comes off the waste gate, goes to the boost controller, boost controller, tees off right here. And that tees from the, the, the outlet of the turbo, which is right there, tees off, tees to the fuel pressure regulator right there. And then that's it. That's really, it's it's really just two, three, four hoses, excuse me. One boost controller, two, T, three, uh, turbo outlet, and then four to the, to the other boost controller, and then five to the, excuse me, five. So yeah, that's a, uh, the the people who actually run fuel management in terms of um, you know modifying the ECU, this is um, a very kind of barbaric way to do it. Um, if you're actually able to tune the ECU, adjust timing, um, adjust air fuel in different regards, it's probably much easier to do it that way. If you're handy or you have someone to tune your vehicle, this is a way to do it extremely cheaply. Keep keep your air fuel ratio safe. And um, yeah, the big thing again is do it cheap. I'm all about doing it cheap. So turning it up to, I have right now at about 10 and a half PSI. Um, going from seven to 10 and keeping the same AFRs, the car is much faster. Um, I'm so glad I did this, but we'll see how long it lasts at, at, at 10 PSI. Um, I, I'll try to take it slow, but all right, thanks.